Yo, what's up, y'all? It is your boy Dre41, and welcome to the AEW Universe mode. And once again, I have forgot to turn off <laughs> the commentary uh, for this, which which is fine. It's and we're gonna start this show off with a bang. Not even not even playing around at all. We we trying to sit there and get the ratings as high as we can out the gate and coming out is the AEW television champion your boy CM Punk making his way to the ring from Chicago Illinois weighing in at 216 pounds the all-star television champion Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one I can't think of a better Punk. match to kick them so yeah, with this AEW Universe, I got to give him the mid-card title. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he, he's part-time. He's super, super part-time. I'm so surprised we were able to afford him. Um, yeah, TNT threw out the... No, TNT threw out the big bag. So did the Khan family. They threw out the big bag to get CM Punk up in here. So we got CM Punk signed to AEW. Had to, you know, give him a championship since he is the best in the world. He has the television championship. The World Heavyweight Championship is currently held by uh, Chris Jericho. And he is facing your boy Flip Gordon. Making his AEW uh, Tuesday Night Dynamite debut. And uh, we're going to see what Flip Gordon brings to the table here. And Flip Gordon about to go up against the best in the world. We're going to see if he can uh, bring it to Mr. Phil Brooks here. And we are live here on TNT. Got the AEW Universe third week in the bag right now. And we are going to see things ramp up here. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions on who should be in the AEW Universe, who who should I add? Because right now we got a re really, from the last two shows till now, the roster changed up a lot. Um, it, it changed up a lot. Just, just like, for real. A lot, a lot. Uh, the first two episodes were actually done, oh man, had to have been like months ago. Maybe a month and a half ago, uh, before we found out that, uh, they have a, a show deal for on TNT, so the roster has changed a lot. Um, I added some guys, also you know Dustin Rhodes, a bunch of them. But right now, CM Punk and Flip Gordon right now. Oh, good moves by Gordon, trying to take out CM Punk right now. CM Punk getting those boots. He got that ring rust right now, man. He ain't the best in the world just yet. Oh, that backbreaker though. That backbreaker though. And now you're going to get that dragon. That dragon screw right there. Flip Gordon. Oh, wait a minute. CM Punk not to be outdone with a dragon screw of his own. Okay. CM Punk not playing around right now. He's trying to show he the best best. He doing his thing right now. Then, oh, big knee. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over already. We already know what's about to cook right now. Oh, CM Punk. Got some good defensive moves there. Working on uh, working on Flip Gordon right now. That knee right to the chest. And already he talking about go to sleep. We're going to see if he can, he going to put him to sleep here. Because he's talking a good game. Oh, that was a that was weak, Punk. Come on now. Come on, Phil. Come on, Phil. You got to do better than that now. Oh, called a sling blade again. Come on. Flip Gordon trying to get a W here. He trying to beat the... um beat the champion which is a good thing if he beats him shoot he should get it um he should get a shot that's just a television championship it should be on the line to be honest i don't know why it's not um right now i'm allowing the computer um to determine uh what the matches should be so i'm going to be surprised just like you guys on a weekly basis now if you want me to change that to reflect more of a custom uh match card I feel like the match cards that they're putting on based on the rivalries are pretty good. But if you guys want to see a particular match, let me know. 
Uh oh, kick to the belly welly. And ooh, that pile driver. We ain't see that in years since he did that to uh John Cena on Monday Night Raw. CM Punk trying to go all out. He's trying to get the W here. That's what he's trying to do. He, ooh, big elbow. Uh oh. Ooh, that Samoan drop. I think that's a sig. I think that's a, oh, it's over. It's 450. If he gets up and catch him with that. Oh, he threw the knees up though. CM Punk not having it. Wait a minute. It might be that time. It might be that time. Oh, good reversal there. Oh, kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Yo, Flip Gordon got all the answers for Punk right now. Flip Gordon is not playing around. He trying to get the W. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it against CM Punk, though. Nah. Barely a one count there. He definitely got to go all in to beat CM Punk. This is not going to be easy. A good old jawbreaker right there. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Look at your... Oh, good reversal there by CM Punk. Trying to go all out here. Okay, Punk. Do you think good reversal there by by Flip? And these two men are trying to get the show off on a bang right now. Imagine that when Flip Gordon contract ends with Ring of Honor, you know he's going over to AEW. You know he is. Come on now, like they're waiting for him to get his um get his his time in Ring of Honor. They definitely and CM Punk too. Come on now, CM Punk cannot stay away from wrestling. When it, when now it's a situation where it's another show where it's Cody, you know, the Young Bucks, they're not going to play him. You know, they'll give him a little part-time, you know, give him some wins under his belt. Or even if he does lose, it's going to be in a good storyline. It ain't going to be nothing trash. And right now, shoot, Flip Gordon trying to get that, that loss going right now. That is what CM Punk is showing the ring rust right now. He is not able to like deliver much offense against Flip. And they gotta watch out. They don't want to get counted out here in the opening match. Oh, big knee. Oh, and if you like that opening, um, I didn't make that opening. Um, another guy on YouTube made that opening. I will put it in the description box below so you guys know who did it. Oh, look at that. Yo, Flip Gordon is going in on CM Punk right now. He is teeing off. Uh, but CM Punk, but CM Punk overall is higher. Just, I mean, come on now, it just is higher. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. Flip Gordon doing it though. Flip Gordon is truly doing it right now to CM Punk. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. CM Punk might take an L here. And then I don't know if you got, if he beats him, do you think he deserves a, a, a television championship match? Ooh, that god but yo, CM Punk has not been able to do anything. Look at these combination moves by Flip Gordon. He is going off right now. CM Punk is just like basically playing defense right now. That's all he's doing. He's just hanging in there, playing defense here and there. But he has not. Oh, wait a minute, he might get that sig off. Oh no. Oh, he's just going to slam his face in there. I'm mad that you can't stop that. I haven't seen it stopped yet in this game. Like, I remember like, when the computer does that to me. Like, I couldn't stop it neither. And I'm like, that's a little bit odd. But whatever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gore might be going to sleep here. Gore might be going to sleep here. Oh, uh, the GTS. It's over. One. Two. Ooh. Flip is trying to stay in this one. Okay, Flip. Okay, Flip. I feel you. Flip Gordon trying to stay in this one. Oh, it's over. Damn, that Anaconda Vice did it. Damn, he caught him with that Anaconda Vice, and it was over. He tapped fast. But CM Punk got that MMA background now, so he could pull off those great uh, submission holds, even though he ain't win. Oh, they got to show some respect at the beginning. Come on now. Show some respect. Show some respect. There we go. Good guys. Good guys there. Look at him. Look at him. And up next, we have a great match for you guys in the women's division. And look who we got here. 
and still has that hair thing. I don't understand that. Way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, the All Star Wrestling Women's Champion. Well, the champ certainly looks ready to go in this one, guys. And give her credit because she and Aja Kong in the building here tonight at AEW. You saw her win that championship at um at uh, Double or Nothing, the uh, pay per view that I did a while back. Uh, you guys got to see that. Um, so she still has that championship. And she hasn't defended it yet. But wait a minute. Look what we got here. I had to add uh, uh, another woman to the to AEW Women uh, Division. From Hartford, And uh, Mercedes Martinez is from Connecticut. I think she's from like Bridgeport or something like that. I don't know for sure, but I had to add Mercedes uh, Martinez to the AEW universe, uh, mainly because it's, it's a little thin. It's a little thin. We might see somebody else who's awesome join in on the women's division. I don't know. It all depends on how much room I have available to do it. We'll see, cause it's a, a lot of logo space that that takes up, you know, and it, it's it's difficult, man. It's it's really difficult. And look at this, we got Britt Baker making her way to the arena here, and she is going. I, I guess she's like, and what the top draft pick. I guess she's like a top, the you know, the, the number one draft pick for the women's division here. Get this night started. And uh, we're going to see what they uh, bring to the table here. Because with this, to get their hands on one another. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Aja Kong is just so dominant. Aja Kong is going to be dominant because she carries a weight advantage, a strength advantage. I don't think the other women can even like really lift her up here. But it's going to be a three-way between these women right now, we're going to see who walks away with a victory here. And look at this. Oh, that chop, though. And look at Mercedes. She's acting like she's about to get it. Oh, cross body working. And she ain't go for the pin there. I don't understand why she didn't um, grab her out the sky there. That's, that's a little bit strange, but nonetheless, it worked, I guess. It worked. And Aja going in. She, she, she trying to take her out. Aja Kong going in right now. Oh, that drop toe hold though. <laughs> she wasn't ready for that drop toe hold. Oh my goodness. Aja is going in right now. She is not playing. Oh. Oh. She no sold. No sold those forearm shots. Wow. Yeah, I think, I don't know. Aja Kong might be taking this one home easy. She might be taking this one home no problem at all. Dang, she is going in. But you know, to each his own though, you know. I want to say um, Aja was going to get the W, but this is triple threat. This isn't elimination. This is first pin eliminated. That's it. See you. So we're going to see what happens here. Uh-oh. Oh, good German suplex by Mercedes. And now she's going for the pin. Look at Aja trying to get in there. She's like, nope. And, you know, I think um, Aja is a little bit light. She's got a little bit of darker complexion. She is half black. So we got to figure that one out. And Mercedes. Oh, headbutt. Okay. All right. And it's funny because Aja... Oh, good jab. Oh, and that clothesline. Oh, my goodness. Aja Kong is going in. Aja Kong is trying to... Te Yo, she's not trying. She is. She is going off on everybody right now. Damn, she got to relax. She is going all out right now. Well, a just slammed Mercedes. She trying to take her out. And we are on TNT. You see at the bottom right hand side. You see it. Yeah. And it's transparent a little bit too, you know. I don't know anybody else who's doing it like this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It is what it is though. Don't, don't pay me no mind. Uh-oh. Oh! 
don't know if that. Ooh, roaring elbow. Okay. Do your thing, Rumble Lady. Rumble Lady. She going out right now. The number one draft pick trying to um, trying to. Uh oh, double team. Oh, just threw a face right into the mat, and then they go back at it. And Mercedes with the back suplex. She's been doing her thing on the Indies for so long. More than 10 years on the Indies, and now she has a, a platform to be seen around the world here on AEW Tuesday Night Dynamite. But wait a minute. That cradle pile driver. And yeah, she's rolling. She knew what time it was. And Aja is just tossing these women around right now. She is teeing off. Like, this is... I don't know. Like... They are going all out right now. Sheesh. I I don't know. I'm 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 a bit iffy about this now. This this is this is getting crazy. Tossing these women around. Oh, oh my goodness! That right, it's over. Oh no, just the one count. Britt Baker, lucky she was able to kick out. Man. Sheesh! Just gave her the illest forearm shot. That was not cool at all. But they all going at it right now too. I want to see who wins this. Good T-bone. Oh, I tried to go for something. Aja sidestepped her, even with the with her size, still able to um move around pretty quick. So uh, Aja Kong definitely a threat here. Now she's going for the pin. It might be over. One. Two. Oh, close though. Close though, Mercedes. It might be over for her. It might be over for Mercedes. Oh no. Oh no. Burt Baker gotta hurry up and get up. Oh no, she getting up. She's straight. Oh, that pile driver though. That pot. If she can take down Britt. Oh. Yeah, she's gonna take her out. Sheesh. She gotta turn around. Oh, she gotta turn around and go for the pin. Uh, she went for the wrong person, but I guess it'll work. Ah, oh, no, it didn't work though. It was close. It was close. We could. Oh, she, oh my goodness. <laughs> See, the problem is, is that she's like a super heavyweight. Well, not like a super heavyweight, but like a heavyweight. And um, a lot of the attacks don't do. Oh, she just able to move out of the way of a lot of attacks. Ooh, super kick. And out the ring she goes. Now see these two women can get it cooking now. And we can see who can, you know, actually walk away with a victory if if Aja Khan can be kept out of the ring long enough, which I don't know if that's going to happen. That just doesn't seem like it's gonna be the case. Oh, tried to go for a strike there, but uh Mercedes blocked that one. And now what's this? Stalling vertical? Is she gonna reverse it? No. Oh, uh, Britt ba uh, Brit about to go for a ride here. Oh, uh, got her with that stalling vertical suplex. Good moves. Shades of the British Bulldog. Oh, and a short arm um, clothesline. Okay. Okay, I like that. Show, show you, show your fierceness. Oh no. Oh no, she gonna make a tap. Is she gonna make a tap? No, she didn't make a tap. Okay, I thought it was over. And now Aja. Oh, that backbreaker, though. Oh, my goodness. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. Like, as far as just trying to go up against, like, Aja, she is just so dominant. And she holds the championship, like, she might never lose. And that would be, like, that would be crazy. If she never lost, like, ooh! Right in back of the head. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it was so close. It was so close. See, that's the thing you got to worry about. It's like, it, it, geez, they they getting there. They getting close, but they're not able to put her away just yet. They still got to put, put in a little bit more of a fight. They got to, you know, keep the beating on her. Uh-oh. Oh, almost again. I think a finisher will end her. I think that I think a finisher, just one finisher will do. 
But we got to see. They got to keep trying, though. But Aja is so dominant. Aja is so dominant. Oh, man. Look at these reversals they pulling off. Uh-oh. What is this? Ooh. And pen combination. Ooh, ref bump. Take a uh, shot. <laughs> ref bump. Ooh, what was that? A shot to the gut? And Aja's down right now. And it could have been over right there, to be honest. I really think it could have been over. Uh-oh, what is this? Hangman's neck breaker? Ooh, yes it was. And then she rolls out the ring. Okay, now you got an opportunity. Go after Aja. Get her out of here. Go for the pin. Go for a finish or something. If Aja gets the advantage, it's over for you. Ooh. Oh, no. You tried to strike with Aja. You tripping. Oh, you are tripping. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, ref, get up. Ref, get up. Ref, get up. Ref, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The ref is such a bum. Oh, the ref is such a bum. Oh, Aja using her weight right now. Oh, she tried to tee off, tried to throw it. And she got in the way. Oh, that. Oh, my goodness. Look at those. Yeah, when she throws her fists, she ain't playing. Oh, kick right to the. Oh, super kick. Oh, I thought it was right there. I thought it was it. Good suplex. Uh oh. Channeling Eddie Guerrero. Those three amigos. Even though she Puerto Rican. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's still Latino. It's fine. Latina. All right, now what's she going? Oh, Irish whip with the reverse, so she about to go out. She about to go out. Oh, good drop kick. But now it's just her in the ring. Wow. So disrespectful. The disrespect. All right, now let's see what happens here. Now throw her back into the ring. Somebody got to walk away with the victory here. And now going for a pin. Oh, broke it up before it even started. Oh, Alright, let's see what happens here. Big knee taking her down. Now what's going to happen? Oh, come on now. You ain't about to get no W off. If she does, that's ridiculous. Alright, I was about to say. I was about to say no. We, we can't do it like that now. Like That's, that's a bit ridiculous. Oh, and just wrenching her neck right there. Uh-oh. 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 What is this? Is this the brain buster? Oh, brain. It's over. Oh, she rolled out the ring. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, oh, she wasn't able to do it. See, this This is what you got to worry about here. It's like you just cannot get them out of the ring, like, at all. Like, you cannot pin them. I don't think it's over. I don't think it's over. Nope. See? See? That is nuts. That's that's the thing you gotta worry about with these with these team like with these triple threats. It is so difficult to really get the pin off on somebody. And now with all three women in the ring, it I don't know, man. Why is she doing a little cursey? What is that? Oh my goodness, that crossbody though. She's gonna keep trying to use that crossbody. That's that's her go-to move right now. Oh, is it over? No, it's just not over off a crossbody. I was about to say. It could not be a, a, a done deal with a crossbody. That's that's just beyond me. That could not be the case. Oh, tossed out the ring. Yeah, this 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 is this is turning out to be a battle. Like this is turning out to be a huge battle between these three. Oh, Aja. Yo, she is just strong as all hell. It's over. Oh, not over yet. They are going all out right now. I, I don't know who's going to walk away with the victory. Wait a minute. Oh, she's going to get up. It's too late. It's too late. Yeah, she's not going to be able to. She sees she gets right in the ring. And if she takes out Aja. Nope. Guess not. <laughs> Guess not. Is it over? I know Mercedes dead in the water. No, it's not over. Dang. Britt Baker, Britt Baker keeps getting up. 
right when Aja gets that finisher off, and that's the... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it might be over. It might... Oh, nope, it's not over. Is it? Nope, it's not. Oh, it is. She glitched. She glitched. Yep, it was over. Britt Baker walked away with a victory. Uh, yeah, she glitched out. I don't know what happens there. This... Like, when I'm using women, like, I don't know why the game glitches out. I don't know why the game glitches out the way it does, but sometimes they just glitch out. Like, sometimes, even, like, in the collar and elbow tie-up, it glitches sometimes. So, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why. Maybe because Aja is, like, a heavyweight or super heavyweight. I don't know. But it's, like, it just sometimes happens. And it, it's, yeah, that was a breakup. That, that pin, that was a breakup pin, but it's unfortunate. Oh, that super kick right on the side of the head. Yeah, the ref. The ref seen that, too. Ref was like, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Almost put her away. Here is your winner, Dr. Brent Baker. And Britt Baker walking away with a victory here on Tuesday Night Dynamite. Great win beating the uh, the uh, AEW Women's Champion. So that's that's definitely a good look for Britt Baker. Congratulations to her. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, oh man, we had a tag team match cooking, and look at this: the Young Bucks attacking the Lucha Brothers. Oh, uh, against SCU. Oh, see? And the other guys are Look at this. The Young Bucks are salty. Of course they love it. Oh, man. I guess this match is still going to happen? Is it still going to happen? Yeah, I agree. Okay, I guess it's still going to happen. All right. Well, the Young Bucks tried to uh, attack the Lucha Brothers. And look at Penta is pissed off. Penta is pissed. You attack him from behind. He can't even get at the Young Bucks right now. He got to do. He got to deal with SCU. So I guess that's going to be the plan here. Just going after SCU. Boy, this is going to be a test. This is going to be one hell of a test, to be honest. Penta going at it though. Penta not playing around. See, that's the thing you got to look at. Like even when dealing with um any type of team like at all like even when you get attacked from behind that could light a fire under you and SCU just might be the the team that gets burned right now and we got a uh, Frankie Kazarian and uh, Scorpio Sky in this match he's not oh good clothesline he's, taking him out and you gotta think are the oh wait a minute wait a minute what is Frankie doing Frankie going up right now Tope Suicida trying to take out Penta right now. And they got to worry about getting counted out here. They don't want to do that. Ooh, Frankie might be in. Ooh, Frankie with the. Ooh, getting powerbombed right on the outside. And you have to assume his partner is just itching Frankie to get in, in there. Frankie in some trouble out here. He, he needs to do something. He is not faring so well in this match. Ooh, trying to put the boots to Pentagon here. And now, ooh, what is this? Shining Wizard! Shining Wizard! <laughs> I'm a nut. Pay me no mind. Oh my goodness. This this is this is probably gonna be a good tag team match. If they're able to get tags in, um I truly see um I truly see like a good tag team match between these two teams. But then the Young Bucks attacked them. So I don't even know if they're 100%. They might not be, to be honest. And now we got a tag. Oh, no. Oh, no. Super kick. Oh, and that psycho driver. Damn, just drilled him. Oh, man. And look, another. Oh, tried to go for it. Tried to go for a move there. Didn't get that one off. Now, yup, pulling him over to the corner. Smart move by uh, Frankie. Kick right to the small of the back. Now he tags in Scorpio Sky. And we're going to see if his hands come into play. You know he got that boxing background. MMA, too. Not even just boxing. He got the MMA background. Don't know if he's going to implement it into his uh, wrestling here, but that clothesline definitely implemented him into the floor. Ooh. 
forearm shot. He is in some trouble here. Uh oh. Oh, big knee. Off the rose, big knee again. Look like it's going to be that good old Russian leg sweep. Okay, good combination moves there. And now he has to stay on top of the game right now. He cannot give Scorpio Sky any room. Oh, that calf kick, though. Oh, oh, look at him. Acting like he's about to punch him when he was already down. Wow. Tried to flee him off. Oh, man. Are we going to see uh, another attack? Oh, trying to go for it again. Just not working on his side. Ray, oh, Ray Phoenix in the... Scorpio Sky going back and forth there in that running neck breaker definitely slowed things down for uh, Scorpio. And now these two teams are going back and forth right now. Big knee right to the neck there. Probably the jaw, I want to say. Got him in the corner. Tried to go for the splash again and it didn't work. And another neck breaker. See, they, they trying to tee off. They are trying to tee off against each other right now. Uh-oh. DDT. Oh, wait a minute. What? Why did he pull off a DDT? What is that? What in the world? That was a little bit strange. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. I'm a little bit confused here. I'm a bit confused. What? I can't believe. I think somebody's move set is messed up here. I think somebody's move set is a bit messed up here. Oh, look at that forearm shot. Yeah, I think I need to uh, fix fix that. That's a bit strange. We got to figure that one out. Oh, look at that forearm shot though. Yeah, because I'm like, wait a minute, that the move set that he's doing just seems a little bit off. I don't know. I, I think. I think it might chalk up to a loss here, maybe? That the Lucha Brothers might just lose here? I'm not too sure, but it might seem like it. Oh, that spinning toe hold. Come on. I don't understand how that move really hurts. Like, it's a spinning toe hold. I, I don't know if anybody would submit off of that. It just doesn't seem plausible. It really doesn't. I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. Who knows? Ooh, look at that forearm shot. Uh-oh. Oh, good combination move right there. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Is it over? Is it over? Yep, it's over. SCU able to get the victory. I got to look at Ray Phoenix and find out why his moveset just didn't seem right. His moveset did not seem right at all. Like, just for him to pull off that DDT, like that right there, no, that's not right. Something is definitely wrong. I got to check that. That's not cool at all. He was not doing the moves that he was supposed to. And that kind of chalked him up to a loss right there against SCU. So, uh, yeah, we got we to gotta find that. Find out what's going on with that. But the Young Bucks did attack him. So, I don't know. That's, that's going to cause some problems if they can't get a fair tag team match. And Scorpio Sky, Frankie Kazarian, SCU getting the victory here on Tuesday Night Dynamite. Definitely a great win by uh, SCU. So congratulations to them for uh, getting that victory here. Uh, good work. Hey, got to give them props. A win is a win. Uh-oh. And look what we got here. John Moxley making his way uh oh and he definitely has something to say we're gonna find out what it is oh he's out here because they have a crisis it's a personal crisis because all of a sudden he's a target and what kind of man would he be if he didn't fire back the fans are eating it up and he's been hearing a, a lot of rumors, and frankly, he's getting tired of being someone's excuse for why things aren't going their way. Well, you attacked Kenny, so yeah. And you got two choices, Kenny Omega. You can either come out, face me like a man, or 
uh, he'll come back there and find you. Either way, he's going to get his hands on Kenny Omega. And I guess Kenny Omega was like, oh, you want to put hands on me? Well, let's get it cooking. Kenny Omega not scared of a fight. He can definitely go. He is the best bout machine. So you know he is ready and prepared to do any and everything to get a W here in AEW. And are they going to talk or are they going to fight? Because, uh... Uh-oh. Alright, let's see what happens here. Bad blood is a boiling. What is he gonna say? Uh, AEW fans, are you happy to see me? And are you as tired of listening to this guy as I am? Wow, so disrespectful. Bad doesn't even begin to describe the blood between these. And now they just gonna trash talk back and forth. So okay. So yeah, we're we're gonna have to see a match between these two. Somebody has to punch the other guy. That has to happen. One guy has to punch the other guy. It has to happen. We need to see it. It needs to go down. Somebody got to just take the, you know, take their career in their hands and uh, throw a punch. Please just throw a punch, somebody. We need to see somebody throw a punch. Just hit him. Somebody hit somebody. Oh, he told you to shut up. What you going to do? What you gonna do, Kenny? He told you to shut up, Kenny. What are you going to do? Ooh! He getting real close to you, bud. Kenny, you gonna let that slide? Kenny, you gonna let that slide? Is that what you gonna do? Come on, Kenny. Come on. See, he, I think he's scared. I think he got fear in his heart. I don't, I don't think he about it. I don't think he about that life. I think he got fear to try to, to fight up against him right now. I just don't see it happening. Dude, they just talking. Don't nobody want to fight. They just want to talk. See, in AEW, I thought they were supposed to, you know, not so much of the promos, these, these long, drawn-out promos, but, you know, they got to throw hands. And that's what they need to do. Ooh. You getting real bra. Look what you, Kenny. Come on now. Do not let this man chump you like that, Kenny. You better pinch him or something. Do something. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Man, listen. I better do something now. A fan favorite. They just trash talking. They ain't saying nothing. They ain't seen a thing right now. They gotta throw hands. Definitely a fan favorite. Oh my goodness. Next time they might want to spike that Wow. Next time I All talk just there, huh? Okay. Thing a couple times. Man, what a mess. And now we have the main event of the evening. And who is about to make their way out here? It is the champion of AEW. Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, the All-Star World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho making his way down the aisle holding on to that AEW heavyweight championship that he won and we are going to see what he is going to do here this is going to be a battle for supremacy here and despite the fact that the title is not on the line and uh yeah this is a non-title match so nonetheless you got to be thinking that uh he doesn't care if he wins or loses here. He just wants to make sure that uh, he keeps that championship around his waist no matter what. And um, I don't know. You can't be the best in the world at what you do if you lose. But this man here wants that championship. And 
Cody Rhodes wants gold here in AEW. He has yet to obtain any gold yet. But we're going to see if he's able to. I mean, this is this is going to be uh this is definitely going to be a uh, a test here for all of these guys. But uh, you know, who knows? Who knows what will happen? Cody Rhodes ready to go though. Cody Rhodes is ready to get it cooking here. Both of these men are ready to go. Jericho and Rhodes. Collar and elbow tie up, pushing Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes pushing right into the corner. And is he going to let him go? Clean. Clean breakup. Oh, okay. A clean breakup there. And now look at this. Chris Jericho with a sit out. Scoop slam. Mitch Noku driver. Ooh. Kicked him in the back. And Cody did not like that. And a big drop kick taking down Jericho. Oh, he is beating him down right now. Cody is not playing. Cody wants gold. He wants championship gold. He wants to be the top guy in AEW. Even though he's running the show, it, it's different from being the businessman who runs the day-to-day -day than being a champion. And look at that DDT. Ooh, pin combination there by Jericho. Not even getting a one count. Cody Rhodes able to kick out and catch a kick right to the gut for his troubles. Now, what is Jericho going to do here? And now, oh, throwing his face right into the turnbuckle. Wait a minute. Ooh, Chris Jericho teeing off right now. Ooh, look at what's going on here. Uh, Chris Jericho is trying to go all out here as champion of AEW. He is trying to do any and everything to show his dominance. He wants to thank you. Let's not forget that. He wants to, oh, oh my goodness, that... Oh, that was a brain buster. Oh, my goodness. He just drilled Cody. And now trying to go for that arm bar. You got to also remember that Chris Jericho does have some MMA training. And uh, the Judas effect, that elbow, you know he wants to utilize that tonight. He wants to walk away with the victory utilizing that. And a dragon screw leg whip working on the knee there of Jericho which uh, at his age it can definitely affect him oh and a punch right to the gut there Cody Rhodes not playing around right now and a drop kick right to the small of the back try to go for a spinning back kick then get that one off oh German suplex but uh it was a rope break there and now stomp right to the back big elbow right to the chest yeah he felt it he definitely felt that one and now Chris Jericho going up top. What is he planning on doing here? Ooh, big elbow right to the top of the head. And Jericho now filling it. He might be trying to... Ooh, tried to clothesline him out. And Cody able to reverse it and throw Chris Jericho all the way to the outside. And now holding him up. Look at the strength of Cody. He ain't playing right now. He is trying to show that he is the man here in AEW and throwing Chris Jericho back into the ring here. And now what is Cody plan on doing here? Ooh, dropping the knee right in back of the head and now he's taunting Jericho. And Jericho definitely will not appreciate that. Ooh, punch right to the face overhead and a DDT. Now going for a pen attempt again. Ref, what are you doing? Going for the count to, ooh. Almost a two count there. Chris Jericho has to stay on point. Oh, and a running code breaker. And it might be over. It might be over. Cody might be done for. Going for the pin here. Referee for the count. Two. Oh, just not even really a two count. And Jer, uh-oh. It might be that Judas effect. It might be that Judas effect. Oh, that Judas effect, that back elbow. And he has to go for the pin. It got to be over. It has to be over. One, two, three. Chris Jericho with that Judas effect. Taking out Cody Rhodes. That back elbow is no joke. 
Damn, he hit him hard. And Jericho holding up the AEW Championship. And wait a minute. Look at your boy. It is Hangman Adam Page. Yeah, he wants that championship. Yeah, he wants it.